When teaching numbers or number sense to young students, here are some ideas. So when I first start teaching, I always show the kids a large pile of objects. So I use gummy bears. I feel like food is very enticing to children. Um, but you're gonna take a large pile and set it out. I even tell them that their parents couldn't even tell me how many gummy bears were here because they're so messy and unorganized and it's really hard to figure out. So when you're counting, there's different ways, like three main ways to count objects. So the first one is you could count and check, which would be using a marker or a pen to check your objects, which I tell the kids is more likely to be done when you're using a paper and they could actually write on the paper and check them with their pencil or crayon. But when we're using real objects, counting and checking would not be a good one because we wouldn't want to write on our food. The second way to be is count and move. So if you count one, two, three, and move the pieces away, you can keep track of which ones you're counting. And the last one is to organize them in some way. So whether you are organizing them into groups by color, you could organize them in sets of twos or threes or fives, some sort of organization, or even get out a 10 frame and organize objects on a 10 frame, which is also a really good skill. So another thing you can do with your kids is to do beginning subitizing, which is basically addition. You're gonna take a group of objects, like today we're doing number five, so I would start with five objects, and then place them in different orders. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. If I separate them into sets, I now have two, two, and one, which also is five. Or you could say three and two, which is five, or four and one, which is also five. And then you can even go from here and talk about like, well, what if I take one away? What if I eat one? How many do I have? What if I have two green ones and three yellow ones? How many do I have? Just to start playing with different ideas of sets. Okay, next, Jax and I are gonna show you a little game you can play and you can do this with multiple children or one child, whatever you have in your home. And the bigger amount of objects you play with, the harder it's gonna be. So you could even play this game with your older kids at home. But you're gonna need any sort of objects. Right now we're using mini erasers and then you need a cup. And so what you do is you're gonna agree on, like today since we're learning with five, I'm gonna start with five, but you could always do a bigger number if you wanted. But we have, Jax, how many objects do we have? Five. Okay, can you touch and count? One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, did you, did you touch and count each one? No. Oh. Okay, let's try again. Touch and count one at a time. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, much better. Okay, so now watch what I'm gonna do. Hide your eyes. Are you ready? Okay, now how many Am I hiding under the cup? Can you Four. figure it out? Four. How many is in here? One. <gasps> Lift up the cup, see if you're right. Yep. Yay, good job. Okay, close your eyes again. Are you ready? Okay, now how many am I hiding under the cup? Two. Well, I have two out here. How many is under, under there? Two again. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Three. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Hide your eyes. Okay, now how many are in the cup? Uh, five. Five. Good job. Okay, hide your eyes again. Okay, now how many are in the cup? Zero. <gasps> Good job. So this is a game you can play if you want to. Start with a smaller number to kind of get them comfortable with seeing that. And you're actually setting the stage for some addition and subtraction skills. But, uh, I hope you guys have a good day and hope you have fun playing lots of really awesome math games.